deal, and a few scientists can keep a lot of engineers busy. That's been basically the simple story of the last few hundred years. And uh, there's a difference between the two, but uh, pretty much everybody who does, one of them does the other a bit also, and mathematics is involved in there and so forth. But I guess my concern has always been um, is whether we're actually going to make a real field out of this endeavor that got started uh, some decades ago. And just for an example, a, if you take physics or chemistry as a real field, um, they are very happy and insist on remembering every good idea they've ever had and who did it. Um, whereas, if you look at computing, it is rare to find anybody who, knew, who knows, for example, what uh, Doug Engelbart actually did. What is the significance of this man? It wasn't that he invented the mouse, and it wasn't even that he was one of the inventors of the hyperlink. But what did he do? And the irony of this is that there's a worldwide network and a pretty good search engine that if you type those letters, E-N-G-E-L-B-A-R-T, into Google, you will get on that first page in the first three or four hits uh, the 75 papers that Engelbart wrote and the complete video account of the great demo 40 years ago that showed what personal computing and networking and boosting collective IQ and all of those I had in this meeting here. This meeting is about participation, but we haven't made any progress yet. And the reason is everybody wants to be heard. It doesn't work that way. Everybody's ideas aren't equal, even though we have equal rights. So you have to pare down. That's why we have a representative democracy and not a direct democracy. The idea is to pick people who are better than we are, who can serve our interests better than we could. That way we don't have to express our opinions all the time. We are actually choosing people who can do that. Well, we didn't do that here. So all of these things say to me that we don't really have that feel that Perlis and Newell and Simon and other people talked about. But you can't go back. It's not a question of going back. And that's why rebooting, to me, is not a great metaphor. Rebooting is starting that same old operating system code. And I think what we need is new design and new code before we hit that start button again. And I think the way to do it is instead of making long lists of things that need to be done, which are endless and they obscure the larger issues, the thing to do is to ask questions about process. 